Hey YouTube, it's me at your dive on Captain.com. And finally, guys, we got our jailbreak. However, we don't have iOS uh, 10 to Yalu jailbreak for the iPhone 7 yet. But I am sure that it will come soon enough. But I'm sure some of you are just chomping at the bits, wanting to know some tweaks to install. I know I did a uh, top 10 city of tweak uh, post on iPhoneCaptain.com, and fuck me, it's blowed the fuck up. Guys, you guys are killing it out there on this jailbreak scene. Just remember that when you get tired of that jailbreak scene that we do a lot of other stuff here on iPhone Captain. So keep coming back for all your iOS needs. And like I've said so many times, if you need anything, guys, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I'll get it up right for you. And if you need help, hit me up. I'll do my best to help you any way possible. And as always, if you aren't on Twitter, Facebook, all that, you need to get over there. You might be noticing my springboards moving around while I'm doing all this jibber jabber. And that's a pretty awesome tweak. And believe it or not, it's free, guys. But you only get one theme, and that's the one you're looking at. But it is still pretty cool. But needless to say, guys, uh, I'm going to show you a few today. Uh, probably about 10 is about the limit because I don't really want to press things. Uh, you have to overlook my little dog. She's sick right now. But we'll try not to get too wrapped up with her. But anyway... Um, we will also, uh, you know, share what we can because Cydia isn't accepting money right now. Uh, what does that mean? That means you can't buy tweaks. But one thing I have noticed, tweaks I've already purchased in the past, they are coming up as being paid for. <clears throat> Let me give you an example of this, uh, of, of just something here that so you can look at. iFile, which is going to be a... Uh, one of the tweaks that we look at here. This is a file manager for your uh, iOS device. Let's just go ahead and do this. But anyway, you see here I've already got package purchased and that's what I mean. You can't buy tweaks in here right now. So developers probably aren't putting a whole lot up because they can't get paid. Uh, and you couldn't buy them if they did. You see right there, Sark, you know, if he get his head out of his ass, uh, then we'd be able to have uh, the purchase part of this be rolling too. Uh, I just think he's done a piss poor job, and uh, I talked about that in one of my other videos, of keeping this jailbreak rolling. He hasn't been any help at all for Luca, and just been a total ass in some of the comments he's made. But, you know, fuck him. Let's get on with the video. Anyway, as you can see here, iFile is a device manager, like I said, and it allows you to, like, install and download MP3s. Uh, Deb files is a, is it's a big time. You, if you're a Deb file user, you know all about iFile. Uh, if you're a themer, it lets you actually change icons. You can do all sorts of different stuff: copy and paste, move. Uh, there's just un unpack zip files, guys. This is this is like um, I don't really know what to compare it to on a computer, but like, you know, it's just if you're going to do anything with theming or uh, use your eye, eye device, you know, in ways other than just normal use. You're going to know what iFile is all about. But it's normally like $5.99, $6.99, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anyway, uh, that's one I purchased long ago. This other one we're talking about is Fingal, F-I-N-G-A-L, right here on the screen. It's free, but like I said, you only get one theme. Let me show you what I mean by that. You go into your settings here. Tap settings and it'll pull up. We'll scroll down here to where our actual installs for our city of tweaks are. You see, I only have two showing here. Fingal. Right here's one. Right here is this theme I was telling you about. So you can pick it up, move it to under enabled, disabled. So what you'll have to do is go into city of and search out and find you some new themes that you like, which I think this one's pretty cool. It's free, but uh, you know, needless to say, that's it's the beauties in the eye beholder here so whatever you think and you, you want to use that's up to you but let's go ahead and look at another one okay now another tweak guys and this is a free one in the Ryan Patriots repo if you don't have that repo installed I have that address for you in the, the description box below but uh, shame on you for not checking out my post earlier today and I'll have it linked up too below Anyway, Activator, guys, is going to be one of those tweaks that you're just going to see everywhere you go. If you aren't familiar with the jailbreak community, 
then you are going to know what activator is uh, because so many other twigs are, are intertwined with the activator uh, it's just a phenomenal way to do things uh, differently than normally you're set up to do and let me give you an example of this I, currently I have my activator set up to when I touch the uh, status bar up there where the clock is it will actually take a screenshot you saw that flash right there all I have to do to take screenshots just touch the screen I don't have to hold power and home at the same time that's really hard to do for me because I only have one arm that functions properly the other one that doesn't work it was I heard it in a motorcycle rig so now I only have one arm so now this allows me to set my device up to where I can really use it with one hand and that's just only one of many different things you can do with activator and let me give you some more examples here if we go into settings and go down here to where activators at you're gonna see there's probably hundreds of different things you can do here but from you can do certain things from anywhere and everywhere certain things from the home screen certain things from an application certain things from the lock screen uh, right on down the line menus blacklist things all that but from anywhere in here uh, you can also do things with your Apple Watch, Bluetooth devices, uh, your home button. If you want, if your function on your home button's not working properly, Activator is going to be a tweak that will let you use your home button without pressing your home button. If you want to set it up that way, uh, if you want to set up your home button, say to triple press to open up uh, a, an app, a specific app or to turn the volume up or down on your device to skip a track to pause play you know take a camera shot whatever guys you can set this up to do bukus of different stuff anything and everything you can imagine is here um, actually on the screen you see there one hand wizard that's a that's actually a tweak or I was going to look at actually doing but uh, uh, we'll get more in that in just a minute. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Activator, guys, is something you got to have, so be sure and check it out. Okay, guys, now, as you can see here on the screen, we've got the settings pulled up for Noctus. Now, this is a pretty awesome little uh, tweak, guys. And right here, I'm just going to go ahead and open the settings up. In here, you've got a, a lot of different things you can change, the color, stuff. This is something like dark mode or theater mode that they're going to be adding in whenever uh we get the new 10.3 update it's already been shown in the betas around on youtube as you've probably seen but in here you can change a lot of different things but what i like about this is it really changes your uh control center you get a lot better look right here and you see you get a button in here it adds dark mode and i have that toggled on and you can turn that on and off just by the touch of a button it's just instant and everything's awesome but the downside of this is, guys, it is two bucks, and right now you can get it. But it, you know, there's a link, and I'll have it in the description below. You have to add a repo. It's very easy to do. There are a few steps you have to walk through, but it walks you through step by step by step. Very, very easy to do, and very simple. So, definitely one you want to check out. And I'm not going to spend a great deal of time. We'll probably go into a really detailed look at this tweak later on down the road. But for right now. Uh, you can change the colors you can disable it for certain times you can set it to come on and off at certain times you can just customize this any way imaginable uh, then you just respring it and it just updates right there everything's real smooth honky dory so noctus you can get that one in the repo uh, from the uh, developer in the description below okay guys this one we're looking at here is called camera shy and you see it right here uh, what it does it actually hides the little camera icon on the home screen uh, not a whole lot to this one but the developer says it's going to get lots of updates so I'm curious to see what it brings and you see right down here at the bottom that little camera right there well that's all this uh, tweak is about it actually just allows you ways to hide that you can add, add rounded squares to it if you'd rather have it with that and all that jazz so now you see when I turn the camera uh, lock screen back on it actually goes away but it does require a respring and I'm not going to put you all through that but anyway you might be noticing this awesome tweak here up in the corner here this battery 
and you see it it sort of animates too it's pretty pretty awesome right called momentum mo it's not momentum it's uh it's pretty close to that but it's mo modem ls right here m-o-t-u-u-m-l-s and i'll have all the links that you need to get these twigs because what these developers are doing since uh they can't get any money through cydia uh they're using github and there's links and it's, these are free though that i'm showing you right now if they're if they're paid it'll be listed and i'll be speaking of it in the in this actual video here uh, i think i've only shown maybe two or three that's been paid so far but anyway this is a very awesome tweak you see here uh you can actually turn it on and off by just coming inside here and if you want more uh, date labels that sort of stuff date time alignment all that battery that's the big thing right here is the battery date and time uh, we can turn that on and see what that does for us now so now when we go back out here to our and you can see it just sort of dims things that it makes things a little bit dimmer not a big not a big thing it didn't seem to be that uh, but it may it may be that it requires a respring to actually take some type of effect uh, but we'll do that uh, maybe later but for right now maybe that's me maybe I hit that let's turn that back up okay so no uh, let's go back in here and see if we can turn it down but like I said before this isn't going to be an in-depth on these tweaks it's actually just me showing them to you so that turns it off as you just saw so that was Kyle modem the LS guys it's a really really awesome tweak one I know you'll like okay guys the one we're going to look at now is called status file X uh, let me show you the actual thing in Cydia here there's what the uh, set, uh, tweak looks like inside of Cydia and like I said I'll have the repo in the link below but it's a very simple tweak there's no settings or anything to install and once you get it installed all it does is it tells you what your volume is in the status bar when you turn it up and down see the little dots up there you know used to you could change the dots to look like little bars or theme it or whatever maybe I think it was in the earlier editions but the developer says there's gonna be several different updates to this so I'm anxious to see what they add to this but very cool little tweak guys guys there are several tweaks I think you can use uh, hopefully you find this video helpful uh, as as things go along we'll be adding more videos tweak videos stay close to the channel if you want to know more about that sort of stuff if you aren't a subscriber we'd like to invite you to come over here and hit that subscribe button we do this sort of stuff very regularly here we'll keep you posted on everything jailbreak related and ios related as always keep coming back